Hi there, Terry Bailey, Senior Minister of Indian Run Christian Church in East Canton, Ohio. I'd like to do a little series on uh, finding joy in the midst of sorrow and tribulation. Uh, I would also like to give a, a shout out to one of the ladies who follows these meditations and who responded to my last one with uh, a verse that actually is at the core of this present one. So thanks to Leanna Shorbwear for following these and uh, also for being a step ahead of me in her thinking. But I'd like to talk about the prophet Jeremiah. He, of course, is responsible for the book of prophecy that bears his name. But he also wrote another little book called Lamentations. And the title kind of gives it away. It's a book expressing his sorrows. And it is not overall a happy book if you just go by the headings in the book. Uh, the first heading you come across is The Sorrows of Zion. And the second heading you come across is God's anger over Israel. Third heading, Jeremiah shares Israel's afflictions. Now, in, in case you didn't know, uh, if you watched Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? It is from Lamentations 3.1 that you get that line, I am a man of constant sorrow. That was Jeremiah talking about himself at one point in this chapter he says it's like God has bent his bow and set me up as the target for his arrows and he has turned me aside from my proposed path and torn my life into pieces Jeremiah feels pretty bad for himself at points here and it, it is understandable his people the nation of Israel have suffered catastrophic, overwhelming military defeat and been hauled off to slavery in Babylon. And beyond that, it had been his job to try to prevent that from happening. And, and he laments way back in, in the book of Jeremiah, summer is over, harvest is past, and my people are not saved. They simply weren't receptive to the message that God had given him. So despite his best efforts, all these things have happened and he himself has had to suffer in the process and now suffers along with his people as punishment falls on him. And so he writes this book of lamentations. And he does some pretty good lamenting in the course of it. But as he approaches the end, he comes down to this in chapter 3, beginning with verse 19 and going down through verse 24. Remember my affliction and my wandering, the wormwood and bitterness. Surely my soul remembers and is bowed down within me. Thus I recall to my mind, and therefore I have hope, the Lord's loving kindness indeed never ceases. For his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. At the end of the day, in the midst of all his travails, Jeremiah remembers this. God is his, and he is God's. And God's loving kindness is great, and his faithfulness is unwavering, and his mercies are renewed every day. And I believe we will find the same truth in the midst of these current travails and they are worth a lament or two. God is still who he has always been. And his mercies are new every day. And his loving kindness is eternal. 
if you would pray with me. Father, give us the vision that your servant Jeremiah had that we may, in the midst of these trials and sorrows, see you for who you are and find those fresh, renewed mercies every single day. Great is your faithfulness, Lord. Draw us to it. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.